Malibongwe. Yanibulisa kuyo lindi kalanga. Yanam Sanje, the city ni Bale, Kumland, Ubala Panani, the Zautik Kabakabanje, go Kauleza, the Sherish Ibo, Ibali Lobombam, Ukutin to Sukapina, Ukuze, and I'm Sanje, the Ben, the Le Woman, and the Yo, the Pagatikwa Bandu, Abasle, Emzans, Africa, Abandi Tanda, your Nam, and the Batanda, yo. Ibali Lam, and I'm Sanje, Eliza, and Zautin, the Tetanani, Liti, my story, your lesson. Ndifuna ze nifunde kulu naba usleli enzi ni usleli nabandwa nabako uti oh ndi kena tibana na ufera na msanje wa ndi kalila izi do inzi ngozo buo mipati ute wapumele lange nga yote mbutiko lono wabele ni kebazali my name is Vera Kwesha Manona a perfect masterpiece of grace and redemption who used to be a professional sex worker and a drug addict but by the grace of God I overcame those demons of drugs and prostitution <laughs> My story is no different from most girls here in South Africa that are experiencing common struggles such as peer pressure, social economic issues such as poverty, drugs, alcohol abuse, crime and unemployment. I also experienced partner abuse at the hands of the father of my teenage daughter as I was with him in a relationship for 13 solid years thinking that he would change but he didn't. He didn't. He then refused to, sup to support our daughter because I said to him, I'm no longer going to marry him anymore. It was after this incident that friends of mine were staying in Johannesburg. I knew them as if they were people who are working, but without my knowledge that they are doing something else behind their beautiful faces. They were into a business called escorting business. They painted a glossy picture of this business when they introducing me to it. They said to me it was so much better than the street prostitution. You just take your pictures, nude pictures, nude body pictures, uze, unzoaiza, bakufake online, unjalo, onga matota, koyem sabene akuvuishe, ku internet. It took me a period of three months to make a decision of being a sex worker because I was very scared and skeptical. My first thought was my family. But the pressure of being a single parent without any kind of income to support my family was too much for me to pay. At the time, I had just graduated from the University of Port Elizabeth with a degree in political science. I chose to study e politics because I wanted to serve my country and to also change my family's situation. Because I came from a very poor background. We were staying in a shack, there was no proper sanitation, no electricity, no running water and we're using a bucket system to relieve ourselves as my mother was working as a domestic worker. Unfortunately for me, without achieving any visions, not even my goals and ambition, I eventually turned towards the whispers of open arms of sex industry. I began a new life with a fake name, Flame, and I started to advertise my naked body pictures online with no face, describing myself as a Brazilian colored. I became one of the most sought after high class escorts, folding calls from men with endless supplies of cash. Having grown up in a racial segregated country like South Africa, you can imagine. It was somewhat challenging to offer services to those kind of people because I used my body to be defiled by different men from all over the world for money. Those clients came into different shapes and sizes with different racial groups, such as Asians, Indians, whites, and blacks. They had different tastes and preferences. Some wanted very strange and odd services. It was even more strange to find women who would book a sex worker. And as a sex worker, you will have to offer her that kind of a session. Uzo utenga ati ndikela uzo lala no mdu wam because apa enji ni umyeni akasandi boni. And kuazo pumaglom chato because ndenzela abandwana. Funega, akutenge, tikon baibo o mama, indoni nga kea kota haimda na mdibambe istiva sama petlalin. Ati nza kupatala any amount of oifu na ayo. Eya no iba pshungu, indoba uzos offerishes services na ye umama ukona apa ubukel, lo tata wenza lendo pambi kwa ki. Zizi indoke sama nyundululi, esi tulaku uzo singo mama, izi indo esi zinyameze la ayo, kodwa, genye imini utiko uza sunaita sa upumele la sonoba. As I reflect on my experiences as a sex worker, I came to a realization that sex industry is not as glamorous as it is projected by those who lure people into it. 
Clients treat sex workers like objects and consequently ill treat them so badly. As a result of these most prostituted women, they always say, I would love to leave prostitution if we are even given options. They always express their desire for skills development programs, formal jobs, assistance in startup businesses. I'm so happy that Usandran has organized this event so that we can be able to help those women in the streets to be better people as well in their lives. Most of them, they don't have any resources. Some of them are the dropouts from school because of situations. When my friends introduced me to the prostitution business, they never told me anything about drugs and that most paying clients are those who are using drugs. I eventually met those clients and they taught me very well on how to take drugs. And I started to use them because I was so desperate to make a quick buck so that I can leave that kind of a job as soon as possible. Because my intention was to start a lucrative business. I went there with some ambitions, but my dreams were so crushed. Nothing happened at all. I took drugs because I could see that most of the time they were killing my guilty conscience of lying to my mother that I'm in Johannesburg working as a makeup artist. I've got a better job and so forth. And they were making my job to be more flexible because if I had to sniff a line of cocaine, I'll be able to deal with a client within a few minutes and then I'll be done immediately. But unfortunately for me, I was so addicted to drugs. I could not, it, even a day, it will never pass without me sniffing a cocaine because if I'll try not to take it, my body will be itching as if there's an animal crawling underneath my skin. My body will start shaking because of the cravings and I will feel as if this parasite is really eating me. I spend thousands of rands each and every day I was spending with 3,000 on cocaine, heroin, crystal meth, whiskey, because I gave up on myself. I never thought that God had a plan for me. I could see so many girls losing all that they have because of drugs. Some were raped, some were killed, some were strangled. You know, it was really, really bad. But by the grace of God, I survived because I knew that God wanted to use me for women who have lost hope in their lives, who are so vulnerable. The drugs become something that you have to have, even if you don't want to. But because of the situation with Pilayo, for Owens and Om Sebens. Gelo Klasha, in our older generation, the youth was participating in recreational activities. They used to go to libraries after school to find ways to learn about better opportunities in life. But now people, they do tend into gangsterism, drugs, prostitution, and the peer pressure is the most challenging thing that is happening in our country. And most of the young people are looking for a sense of belonging. I've made wrong choices in life, but today I'm here with you guys and I'm saying, no matter how much you have fallen, Zama Uz Polisha Ufuke Uz Pumbute. Nam Dandi Payana Robobom, but Utiko Wabuchinja Obombam. Nam Sanje, I am a businesswoman. I'm doing a mining on, I'm onto mining onto a stone crusher, a sand. I find grit, the answer is dinner. I organize in Yamia Bango, be in Latin and Abandu Abbas and Amile about him. Now, your veram Nasan and it going to Yonke. The Funa Baneskil, a bombing the Funuquenza something and no one go bomb me So I'm that kind of a woman. Clouds of your home, Ossiti Vera and the Takiwe and Yasba Manditini. I'm here to offer you a skill. Sober, Mark's quasi Utizenze is in Dozak. Because most of the time when people are involved with social ills befunu chinja oko kala ba kwazi kwa mkele ke kitale ni mtu chonga ngesa stigma salando abe yenza so mna indwe ni funa indi oba bonga bandu baba mkele ke oko enze nukuti ekonomi yetu maikule ndi abule langa loma asubene minem na andi ngozi eee betu nani I'm so proud of you, Vera. I love you, Vera. And I see you. 
and any other woman sitting here today who's going through the most. I love you. I see you. Because as women, we need to see each other. It's about time, ladies. It is about time. There's no reason for a teenager, a Lala opposite in your street, to resort. And then they resort to do. When we know there are sessions like this, there's uvera uti une 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 organization eti abango. You know someone who's going a similar route as uvera. It's your chance, kengo gundi ukbana ukwaeka uvera. It's your chance ukwaeka noxi. It's your chance. The platforms are sensible and do easy. The chance ya ukwaeka tofi uti. You know, as children, some there are girls who are going through a similar story as Fanny's Kavera. They don't need to go through that. Siko Natina. I'm so proud of you, Vera, and I love you, and I see you, my sister. It's easy to judge when you are in a place of privilege. I, I, I get emotional because it's easy for us to judge when we are in a position of privilege. Uuti, no, I, suka, you know, no, no. If auka fiki, we make oyokuba, we bukele as a certificate, is a cause, sale, apa, zongas, and do zenz leo, unga tatuana, pina, unga bina, yone connection. Uzbuze nawe into yokuba, why am I still living? Why am I still going to school? Why am I still listening to my parents? In your twenties, who born in Dogbana? Okay, if I can do this in this fort, sorry, excuse me, I'm emotional. If I can fix it, clo, clo make or or you were fortunate enough when I was a big clo now, please don't judge. Don't even judge that woman. Oti, the bambeisti masam eklaleni. You don't know her. You don't know her story. Before you judge, take a day in her shoes, and then you can judge. Just take a day in any woman's shoes. And then you can judge. Okay. Mm.